There's no promo for that. I'm gonna follow it up. Trying to make this a thing on my channel for me to be way to make you. Okay. I'm working on it. Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy. And I'm Jake. Jake, I'm back from vacation. Hi! I am! I'm back and like 20 pounds heavier. Oh, oh, oh. What? Today we are going to be reviewing Marty Miss May's 28th single. This is going to be Koewa Hustle. Do the hustle. How do you do a hustle? What is the hustle? No, that's the hip thing. thing. What's the hustle? Isn't it the thing that the Sims always do? You tell them they like, do the hustle and they're always like, ooh, I'm gonna grab it. Sure, you see me? You can make a fur. You make a Hustle. One of my favorite things about this single was the fact that it is so evenly distributed between all the girls that every single one of them got multiple lines. Nobody was spotlighted. I like that. And for being the second single for Kaharu, she's gotten a lot of attention in this video. But I don't know if it was so much that she had more lines, so much that she was just so new on. that, or maybe it's just or that she's just new and she stands out because she's it's, the like, shiny it's new a new thing. face. She's the shiny new thing on the Morning Musume School playground. Well, I mean, like if, if I put up a big picture right in the middle of this wall, you'd notice it very first thing you walked in the room. And it would be like a big deal for like the first like three videos, but then like afterwards it would be just like, oh, that's part of Jamie's background. All right, first of all, I'm not gonna lie, I thought the song was really cute, but musically, it was a little forgettable for me. The hook was cool, the do the hustle, be a muscle, that, that was a little cute, but overall, like musically the song was a little forgettable for me, but I liked the beat, I liked the orchestrations, I liked all that, that was good. What I really enjoyed about this video was the girls being so like, kind of kooky and cutesy with each other in their two versions of girl clothing. I like how they split up one half of the girls as girls, and then the other half were the women. Because the girls all had like, you know, the baggy clothes and the bright colors and, and, and was it Amy? Yeah. Had the big thing with the stars that was cool. She took the American flag. And I kind of want it, but I don't. But I do. And then, um... The women who were Takahashi, Ogawa, Kono, Fujimoto, Yoshi. That was it, there were only six of them. There were six on both sides. And they all had, you know, their makeup done growing up. Their hair was pretty tame. Yossi was doing her makeup. And she looked good doing it. And then the, the idea for uh, grown up women's clothing was uh, short, tight skirts, pumps, and uh, blazer tops. And they all looked very, very pretty and grown up. And um, I'm gonna say the story that I got from this video was that it was a group of girls um, after school, going and hanging out at their favorite restaurant and just being girls, juxtaposed with a group of women on their lunch break from work. And they all probably work in like the same office building or all near each other and they they're were all on lunch break. Hmm? They're OLs. OLs. Office ladies. Oh! <laughs> I get her. And so then they're just, you know, being women, enjoying their time on their lunch break and then at the end, the girls are like, okay, let's peace out. And the women are like, ah, oh, crap, we're late. And they all run back. And Kono comes back to jack the menu, which was my favorite part of the whole video. I I'll mean, just be honest here. But that set was pink. Was it? At the whole video, it looked white, like pure white. As soon as they all leave, you can see the background. There's this big pink cast wall. Well, you know, it's actually a very old trick with movies and lighting. Um, that if you want something to show up a nice white on a screen, it needs to be a pink if you're putting bright lights on. Morning Miss May videos are all shot with a very, very bright, stark lighting. 
and it's what kind of gives the girls, it almost gives the girls kind of whitewashed and I'm going to call them anime features. It makes them look a little bit like anime characters because all you really see is the shadow of the nose, the mouth, and the eyes. And that's because they have really bright lights on them and it washes out the features. Um, fun fact, glad you brought this up so I can use this. The wall was pink so it would turn out white when the girls run the shot. In the original Wizard of Oz with Judy Garland, Judy Garland is wearing a white blouse and then a white and blue gingham dress. Her white blouse was actually pink. It was a very soft baby pink because it it uh, showed up white in the camera, so it had to be pink. Oh. Oh. Let's talk about the lyrics, please. please. Chips taste good at midnight. The tightening of noodles is evident. The scale is scary. Later it goes on to say, do the hustle. Be a muscle. Pull me through the night. Thank you for soaking me in love. It's my wish. Love is an idea. Christmas! Even Japan will be a festival. What? Suku. Dash. Glide. Nagoya Castle. And by the way, Nagoya Castle, during the Edo period, it was a center most important castle in Japan. It had an east garden, a north culvert, a side of Soketsute, a south pond of Fukumaru, a oh, warehouse, a northwest current, a, kumo, a cormorant's neck, don't know what that is. It's a boat. A plant, an animal. One plant and one animal. <laughs> one plant and one animal. Mm. I have to tell you something. What must you tell me now? It's very important. Oh god. During the production of this music video, it was never really specified, but the rumors have gone around that there were promotional videos of, of this song. The fans hated it. Oh. Hated it. The song or the video? Both. Apparently. These are the rumors. It was never confirmed or denied. Sunku scrapped the idea, turned Koiwa Hustle Do the Hustle into a B-side, and rewrote an old song from one of his albums, the sixth album, and made it the new A-side. So we'll be back in just a moment. You know what guys? the she had good ties at the night. No the second I want to eat cheese, I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. This is one of the very first songs that I ever heard by Morning Musume. The very first one that I ever heard was Kanashimi Twilight. I had next found Chokan 2. So this song, even though it's repetitive, it holds a special place in my heart. So even if Jacob doesn't like it, I'm okay with that because a lot of people here don't really like it because it's so repetitive and it's just like. The dance is so boring, and like the PV, the official one, is so boring. The close-up one's more interesting than the actual PV. Um, it's just like a bunch of concert clips that were thrown in, and it's not even from Chokan 1. It's just random pieces, like you can see pieces of the piece in there. The most interesting shot was the fact of Yossi banging the gong. All the rest was just in a close-up room that had a white background. Here's the thing. I don't hate the song. It's an interesting song. Why is it about fishing? You don't get it. The song is a gigantic metaphor. Okay, yes, all his songs are metaphors. No, 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 this is like a song, it's like a metaphor for I know. missing out, like, the, the catch. But I was up in the mountains for a week, and there's not much to do up there other than relax and fish. So, this song was about fishing to me. It felt really hobbled together to me. That's all. Because it was literally a remake of one of his old ones. Disappointing. Sukub. I like Koyano Hustle better. There. I said it. Here's here's the thing. The things. Let me tell you them. This song, which was called Chokan Two. Chokan Two. Chokan Two would more likely be in like my playlist in the car while I'm driving, because it's more of a song that it's got energy that I would drive to. But as an actual song, I think I liked. For all its flaws, I like I like the hustle song better because it, while the lyrics were batshit, and 
musically it wasn't Sunku's most genius, it was more, it felt like more thought was put into it than Chopin 2. So, I like Chopin 2 better. Er, no! I lied! I like Koi no Hustle? Koi wa Hustle. Koi wa Hustle. I like Koi wa Hustle better. And I like Koi wa Hustle's music video better because this one, the PV close-up was cute, they were all very cute and stuff, but I didn't like the, I really, really genuinely bothers me. And, P and bands in America do this sometimes too, where they'll just pull footage from live concerts and substitute that for any sort of real music video. And something about that just bothers me. Something about that is lazy to me. And for me, it's like, if you don't have time to do the video, hi, don't put one out. Well, this is the first time and the only time that Tsunku's ever done this. He's never pulled concert footage. This was clearly a, no man, we have a huge, gigantic problem, huge problem, huge problem, huge problem. A bad. Remember when we were at Disneyland and I told you that I had a great song? I just I haven't been able to sleep because nobody likes it. No one wants it. It's horrible. And now I have to remake a, another song. I have to rewrite my old song and make it the B-side. It, it was the B-side, and now it has to be an A-side. And I need you to redesign the costumes. I need you to make them different. I need pink, and I need white, and I need blue, and yellow, and more pink, and try some gold. Throw it all together. Do whatever you need to do. But I need this done. Oh, Roman, it's so bad, it's so bad, it's so bad. I need to put, I need to put concert video together. I need to go upload something from live stream, and I, I just I can't deal with this right now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. I knew I shouldn't have left that mean comment about the song. I swear bits and pieces of some of those costumes were just pulled from the Morning Most Made giant closet of costumes. The piece? The piece, like, I don't know, just like, they look like other costumes I've seen. Like, I swear, it was so last minute, Roman ran into the giant Morning Most Made closet at the Morning Most Made School for Girls, just started throwing old costumes out, chopped a bunch of them up, sewed them back together, dyed a couple of them, and slapped them on the girls and said, make it work, ladies. Make it work. I personally like both singles, and I don't think either one of them is better than the other. I do think that the costumes in the music video were better for Koi Wa Hustle, but I do like the lyrics and the theme behind Chokan 2. I just wish that it would have looked a little bit nicer and not so thrown together in the last minute. Okay, so last week we listened to uh, Irokoi Jiritai, and uh, that song had a distinctive uh, Latin flair to it. So we asked you guys, was there any style outside of Japan that you wanted to hear Morning Miss May tackle, or that they will, atta will tackle, might tackle, whatever that you preferred. And so we got some answers that go a little something like this. Um, rapping. Rapping! Didn't go so well in some of the early singles, so... I'm wary of this, but... If the girls do it, that's fine. If it's another random dude, no. Um, that was all we got. And that's it. We didn't get a lot of answers, however, Nickel Mimi Pro did recommend Berries, which has influence of Europop. In one of their songs. In one of their songs. This week, I'm going to ask you guys, which of the two singles did you like better? The A side or the B side? Uh, do you prefer uh, Do the Hustle or Chokan Tu? You obviously know my preference, but what is yours? And for my question, do you agree with the fans that it should have been changed and do you think Sungu made a good decision in switching last minute to Chukan 2 instead of Koiwa Hustle? Let us know below! Join us next week when we talk about Sexy Boy... So... No. Sexy Boy... I can't help you with this. Join us next week when we, we review a song about sexy boys in underwear. They're not in underwear. Join us next week when we review Sexy Boy, Soyo Kaze Ni Yori Sote. Soyo Kaze Ni Yori Sote. Well, that song officially is just going to be the Sexy Boy song to me. Sorry about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you all next week. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Jake. Peace out. Huh. Take him out. Think of Roman? Hey.
I'm working all night cutting up those old costumes to make the new ones so last minute. That was a sentence. Oh god, I've been up all night. <sighs> the things I do for Suku. That man, that crazy man. I don't know. I mean, could have been better, but it wasn't that bad of a song. Hi, Suku, sweetie. How are you feeling? Oh my god. I'm able to sleep, Roman. Where the hell did this even come from? They went with Raina to get our hair done. They added the extension, but this is what's here. So I think I've decided that um, I'm going to chop this up and I'm going to give it to her to put in her hair for the next couple of years. I think it'll last her plenty of time, you know, like in the bangs, they can like kind of cute. I don't know. Oh my god, we're gonna be all night fixing this, aren't we? This is all that remains from Aries' dress from Koya Oh, but I like that. I stayed up all night trying to put it back together. Sunko, sweetie, I told you I would handle the costumes, you just need to leave it to me. We'll wait in the morning with some closet. Threw out some old costumes, brought out some old ones, snap, snipped them up, dyed them, sewed them back together. You can love it! The woman. The way that you sparkle here in the sunlight. You just look so attractive to me. So cool. Stop it. I think I'm gonna write a song about this moment. This moment? This moment. Right here. Right here. Right here. Us. Your nipple was perky. <laughs> that was an inappropriate gesture <laughs> to talk about Roman. Sorry. Yep, there it is. Why would you say that? You know I like them when they're perky. It's hurtful. What are you doing today? Oh, I'm going to take a nap. I was up all night cutting up costumes. How do you think the PV turned out? To be honest. Thank you for lying to me. You're welcome. You're welcome, Sylvie. I'm going to see you later. All right. I'm going to go work on my next masterpiece. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go take a nap. You know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You just go lay down. Oh my god. If this mess gets any hotter, I'm out. Oh. Yeah, well, I give him.